Here stands a ghostly relic to a time now past. One of the largest industrial monuments in Europe, the Zolverein coal mine. The last miners descended the shaft in 1986, but in its time, Zolverein was a key cog in the German economic machine. For many, going underground was a way of life. The Ruhr region was the beating heart of the nation's industry. Its coal mines and iron and steel plants powered the country for more than a hundred years. This is the largest of the region's disused coal mines. And back in the day, it employed 8,000 people round the clock, producing 23,000 tonnes of coal every 24 hours. Now, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and the old coal washing plant is the Ruhr Museum. Where once machinery thundered and tens of millions of tons of coal were processed, now there's an impressive curation of the region's history. We thought for people who came from outside to build one place, to have a window, to look in the history of this region, beginning at 350 million years ago, when coal starts to exist, till today, till the present. So these days they're mining the tourist dollar, Zolverein sees one and a half million visitors a year, bringing in more than 65 million euros. You can see like um, a 70 hectare big park on Zolverein today. And I think um, very important was the idea of a sustainable develop development. So they gave lot, like a lot of money into this um, conversion. So everybody can come here today and just visit um, the mine and the museum. Across Essen, green space now blankets much of the city's industrial past, with here and there a looming reminder. This fight back against environmental degradation has led to the EU naming the city as a European green capital for 2017. And we are model we are a model for change, how to create something when a complete branch of industry breaks away. And thus, we are interesting for Europe and the rest of the world, how out of a crisis there evolved a chance, and we are now entering a green decade. Of course, it's not all good news. Despite some major energy companies still being based here, local unemployment remains high at nearly 11%. But there was a time when the Ruhr River was a toxic flow. Now it's a stunning, clean amenity with no end of profitable potential. By honoring its industrial heritage, while shaking off the coal dust and looking to tourism, this historic city may just reinvent itself. Nick Clark, Al Jazeera, Essen, Germany.